fly that works for permit and pump on as well. I'm using TMC 800s and on a six size already in the vise. Ten color thread. Start our thread right next to the eye of the hook. I'm using large or medium dumbbell eyes, nickel or could be lead. I'm just gonna make some wraps around the thing. I'm gonna bring out a thread to the bend of the hook here. These are these flies I usually post are something that works because I try them. I use all type of flies. I tie a bunch of different flies and I always try to find the good ones, especially for the sole. Next material I'm gonna be adding to this thing is uh, a pinch of rabbit hair. That's, that is something key for this fly or for permit fly because they love their rabbit hair. Especially because of the motion of the material in the water. You're gonna place the um, rabbit hair right, right in the front of the, the shank. Let's place some, some wraps. You could leave it l like an inch long or half inch. I usually take half of um, crystal flush strand. I double it over twice. And I have four pieces of crystal flush. You don't really need the, the flash, but I think you could add some some action to it, attraction. So the next the next thing we add into this fly is epoxy eyes, mono crab eyes. I'm gonna place that right next to the to the rabbit head on the side of the fly, just like that. Then we're gonna bend the monofilament. I'm gonna add the next. I'm gonna bring that monofilament to the front, to the eye of the hook a little bit, and trim the excess. Just find a good shape. Just like so. So the next material we're gonna add to this part is micro chenille. Very easy step. We're gonna take about two, two and a half inches of the material and we're gonna just burn the tips here. Just like that. Something like that. Once you get that, we're gonna make some marks on the legs. This is like the clumps. I'm just gonna make a, a black dot here, another black dot. And the red marker to the clumps here.
just like that just let it let it dry a little bit you don't want to get stained on this thing just let it dry for a few seconds while you get your next material so the next material we're gonna be adding is gonna be craftware I found out that the craftware is is better in the water because I was using sometimes um, I gave a chance to use yarn but I found out that the yarn when it gets wet it's not a really good material because it basically disappears in the water and there's no body in, on the fly anymore so once we get that we're gonna place our pieces of Cruffer. We're gonna go on X wraps. Once you place the material, pull it back and make some wraps in the end. Just keep going in the process the same way. I recommend it to use like scissors for synthetics. They cut through the hair easily. Just spread out the hair to find a longer like a longer tapes of hair and trim. I'm gonna glue my thread through here. Take a botkin. Keep the material backwards while it's drying. Then you can flip it over. So the fly is looking like that now. You see? The eyes, the hair, it's like a clumps. This makes it very attractive. As simple as it is, as effective it is too. You could add some more material and on the bottom part, more legs and more things to make it nicer. But I found out just like that is better. I tried different ones with so many materials, legs, and makes it very cool, but they don't work. Like it is, works great. Thanks for watching this video. Um, this is the fly finish here. I hope you can give it a try, give it a tie. It looks like that. Um, if you like this content, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment, all the materials I use are going to be in the description below. And if you have some suggestion of fly tying or any other videos of tips or anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. And until the next time.